Thank you so much for speaking with me, JJ. I really appreciate it. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. Of course. So this miniseries, Lisey's story, is absolutely incredible. And I would say, in my opinion, that it is ultimately the story of a story of grief. Is that something that you would agree with? I think it's 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 a story of of certainly of trauma and of uh, of of mourning and 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 coming to terms with grief and loss, um, but it's also a story of obsession, I think, and 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 family and and commitment and madness, and and it's ultimately, I think, a it has a huge heart, and it's the thing that to me, as scary and as odd as it is, it's the thing that always made the story so poignant and 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 provocative. And 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 special, so it's a it's a very distinct cocktail, I think, that, that Stephen King has has uh, mixed for us. And is that was it the complexity of it that drew you to this? Well, partly it was that the story was so unique. Part of it was how special I know it was to Stephen himself. I mean, he's talked a lot about this being the most special book for him that he's that he's written. And then when he asked if we would do it and said he wanted to write all the episodes, I felt like it was such a gift to us because to, you know, adapt that story, it would be a tricky thing, I think, for someone else to come in and sort of know exactly what the most resonant and, and powerful elements to emphasize were, because it is a fairly complex story. And to have Stephen come in and write each of these in the way he does, which is to say he's just a a remarkably prolific uh, writer, as we all know. Um, but to get to you know read pages from him that that are not transcribing the book to a different format, he really did adapt it. Um, and then to have Pablo Lorraine, such an amazing director, come in to to direct it, and and have them collaborate in a way where they were really each finding a way to communicate this story on screen, which is to say that some things translate easier than others uh, from a novel to to screen. So it was it was great getting to watch their process and 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 be involved. Uh, and obviously as a fan of Stevens, it's it's an honor to get to be involved in this at all. And and this isn't your first project uh, with with Stephen King in in regards to his work. Mm -hmm. How has this been different from? The, I mean, obviously the story is is completely different. But for you, sure. how has this been different than the previous two? Well, I think on this one because it it was it was so clear, given that Stephen was writing the scripts, what was required. For us, it was really a, at Bad Robot. It was really about finding the director, finding the the cast, helping put that together, uh, getting to work with, you know, Apple TV plus on, on, on this was, has been kind of a, a dream. I I'm, I've been a fan of apples for forever and, and, you know, really know and like the, the people who are over there. So getting to, to, you know, run interference or help out where, where, where needed, uh, for me personally, it was really about, you know, getting out of the way where, when whenever I, I could uh, because you had Stephen King giving us these scripts and you had Pablo who's such an accomplished uh, filmmaker doing doing his thing but it was uh, I, I will say as a fan of the story of certainly of Stevens and of Pablo's it was uh, it was just an, an amazing thing to get to work with with both of them and is you know in in your role do you see it for something like this that is so complex story wise and you have powerhouse of talent uh the, the talent is absolutely incredible do you find that easier for you or harder for you in, in your role as a producer oh my god it's it's about you know 10 billion times easier because when when you have stephen king saying here's a script i wrote and you have Pablo saying, I'm going to direct the script. And you have people like Julianne Moore and Clive Owen and Joan Allen and Jennifer Jason Lee in the in the in the in the roles. Um, you know, at, as a producer, sometimes your job is to help excavate and figure out what is the story or how can we better tell the story, how can we best tell the story. Sometimes, you know, there can be filmmakers that are are 
acting in a unruly and 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 sometimes uh, unfocused way. Other times you have writers who aren't really. I mean, there are a million examples of things where 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 being a producer on a project is you know, you're, you're getting in to try and put out fires and, and, and fix problems that arise on, on this one, you know, of course, like everything, there are, there, there are issues. And and the biggest issue on this one, frankly, was the fact that uh, after months and months and months of shooting, uh, we like the whole world shut down and, and getting this production back on its feet and being one of the first to go back into production uh, during the, the pandemic was, you know, a, a struggle, but the struggle was never, you know, fundamental. The struggle was never personnel. The struggle was never the creative. It was, that was always really a joy. That's, that's, I, I love that. And, and with the cast, particularly, I, I had read that Julianne was actually in Stephen and yourself in your mind as, as this project was coming together. Is that true? Well, I know that, that, that when, you know, we started talking about who could play the title character. It was, you know, we knew that whoever it was going to be had to be someone who could sort of do it all. Because on the one hand, this is a character who's gone through and going through incredible trauma and 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 struggle and mourning. And, and to have a character be in that place and still be rootable and relatable and and to have someone who could draw you in and 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 go through you know a kind of madness as much as anything and not feel like they're somehow off-putting or just you know it it was it was definitely uh, a challenge and i and i feel like i don't remember another actor that 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 came up who we thought was more capable or better suited for this and the idea that you know we were lucky enough to actually get Julianne Moore to sign on, and and not just Julianne, but the rest of the cast was really uh, incredibly lucky. Yeah, I, I, you know, this this core cast. I mean, e each one of them is so uh, powerful in their own way, in their own own role. I mean, uh, Joan Allen is is I, I, everybody. You know, it it really is. I feel like as much as it is Lisey's story, it is also, in my opinion, very much an ensemble piece. As yeah. each one of these people has such a vital um, role, uh, you know, quite literally in in her story. Yeah, no, agreed. Uh, and I, I feel like the, you know, the supporting cast is, um, is, is much more than that in a lot of ways, because they, you know, not only are they so great at, at what they do, but their, their roles are so, are so key. And there's, you know, it, 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 it's an incredible thing looking at how Steven manages to combine disparate elements that you might not think could coexist well. And, tell a story that is as lovely and and heartfelt and and beautiful as it is terrifying and and unsettling and unnerving and that he really is just is just incredible and i think that the, the cast everyone uh rose to the challenge beautifully awesome jj thank you so much for speaking with me i love this this you know piece of work oh, and thanks. uh and and i'm excited for you know for it to debut and everybody else gets to enjoy it as well that's really kind thank you thank you so much uh, be well